Hello all, I'm Kate the Pan Plate. I was in a Conlang relay organized by George Corley of the Conlangery Podcast. It featured quite a few Conlang YouTubers, but I volunteered to go after Kat Misberg, particularly because we needed someone with Python experience to deal with their language. And honestly, I was very excited to go after Kat Misberg, as they announced that they'd be using Chopjam, and the thought of having to deal with it seemed very enthralling. Chopjam is a language that Kat Misberg made for Ogmashwa's second Curse Conlang Circus, which I actually also participated in with my Conlang Paxilau. Now if you'd like to know more about either of those languages, I'll be sure to leave links in the description below. I knew Kat Misberg was working on the relay, but I didn't know when they were going to finish and when they were going to send it to me. I had a rough idea, I knew it was going to be sometime soon, but really I was taken by surprise when they sent me a link and said, okay, here's the torch, have fun, smiley face. The link they gave me was very useful. It had four things. It had the passage in Hoptyam, some instructions on how to use the Hoptyam Python programs, an explanation on the grammar, and lastly, a glossary of all the concepts used in the text. My first thought as I looked at the page they sent me was, oh my god, this torch is long. Because it really was, it seemed long. Like, look at how dense this was. Once I had the time and energy gathered to start working on translating Chopjam to English, I first had to follow along with the instructions Kat gave me. I was immediately inundated with minor issue after minor issue with the code. Now it wasn't Kat's fault or my fault, I mean I guess it was sort of my fault because I, I couldn't figure it out, but it was due to Unicode and the fact that it was encoding with UTF-8 instead of the needed UTF-16, which made it so the symbols in the Hopjam orthography weren't showing up properly and weren't being scanned properly by my computer. I did eventually figure it out and then I was rewarded with this. This is a list of numbers. It has a list of numbers on the left and on the right. The ones on the left correspond to the different Hopjam concepts within the glossary. And then there's another list of numbers on the right. And these correspond to nodes of a binary tree. The next hurdle was made immediately clear. I needed to make a binary tree that had 1,515 nodes. That sounded like a lot. I wasn't sure how big that would actually be. I had never dealt with binary trees before, not really, but I knew I had to get to work. My first step was to look online to see if there was anything that could automatically make a binary tree for me. I could find nothing that could make something legible. A lot didn't even work. So I realized that I'd just have to sit down and make a tree manually. I pulled out paint.net and got to work. With several hours put into it, here's the final binary tree. And if you're wondering what the binary tree is, it's basically a syntax tree. Each word is on a node and then the ones below it are words that will modify it and the ones above it are things it's modifying. And if you want to know more about what I'm talking about, then you just have to watch the Hopjam video because there's no way I could accurately explain this. Next, I could use this tree, treat it kind of like a syntax tree, and build the English sentences from this so that I could start translating it into my conlang. My first attempt at pushing it into English looked like this, and with a little bit of freshing it up, I managed to turn it into this sort of nonsensical poem. Oh, water snake which planted the forest, which hunted, which revealed the forest's knowledge, which saw the river destroy the two children, which remains as only a tooth in the mud. The parents who dream of evils ask, does your river listen? What caused it? Do we believe the river allows us to cross? The river says to the parents, a branch destroys the children, the children can escape. The wise fish man descends. The old man says, everyone learns to blame the future. I hope to honor that so that the pain lessens. I'll return to block the destruction of the children. Tomorrow everyone will know a new future. Now I will kill the brilliantly depressing future. I wanted to warn you, but because you can see, I'm learning from you. Because of this, I'm now telling you. Digging men begin, for burial must be made with the forest's dirt. 
And now that I'm finally done with Khopcham, it's time to translate to my own Conlang. And really, it took me a while to decide which Conlang I want to translate to, as I had a fair few options. Part of me wanted to use Paxalau, since it's the only conlang I've made a video for. But I decided I didn't want to follow a cursed conlang with another cursed conlang. That'd be too many. So in the end, I decided to use a conlang called proto Neron. It's my most current and put together conlang at the moment. And it's part of a larger family tree, but the other members aren't as fleshed out as this one. The translation process itself went pretty well. The only issue I came into was my own executive dysfunction, which stretched it way longer than it actually needed to be. The actual length of translating it only took maybe a few hours. I had to coin several new words, but really that's pretty good because those were words that I originally overlooked as I was working on my lexicon, and those were words I would probably need, such as like, Water. That's a kind of important word. Just saying. And so with all those new words done, and everything all set, this is the poem in proto -Néron. And so the final step was actually just building the documentation to send off to Babalingua. I didn't have to make a whole grammar, and that was pretty nice. I only had to make stuff that would be relevant to the torch. Just as Kat had only given me some of the concepts, I only needed to give some of my dictionary. All in all, I think the relay was pretty fun to participate in. And if you want to watch how Babalingua dealt with proto Néron, then I'll have his video linked in the description, along with a link to a playlist of everyone's video in order of when they participated in the relay. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to dislike, unsubscribe, and leave hate comments or something.